Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. I have my girls with me and we're gonna go visit my brother. My sister's going over there. He also lives next to the European food store. I was born in Belarus, Eastern European, and there is no Eastern European food store around here. So I'm gonna take advantage of this and I'm gonna go and pick up some things that we love. So I figured I'd vlog and take you guys along and see what we pick up. I don't know how much I'm actually gonna film in there because it's a very small store and looks like it's packed. So I'll bring my iPhone and I'll leave my camera in the car. I don't think I ever showed her on my channel. She's 10 years older than me. <laughs> you, thank you. <laughs> but you'd never know. This particular Russian food store that I went to, it's not as big as other ones, like if it's Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania has one where they'll have like literally every food that you can think of homemade. Have you ever been to one in PA? Prestor, did you go? No. Mm -hmm. I went to Prestor. No. Philly probably has the best, probably because they get direct shipments from overseas. I'm pretty sure they do, right? No, I think they get from Brooklyn to the other one. You think so? It, have you ever been there? No, not in They're place. huge. They're massive. So this one's not that big. They don't have a lot of like salads and stuff. You can literally choose anything under the sun there. This one doesn't really have that, but they still have a lot of really good things. I feel like I buy different stuff than you. Oh yes, for sure. At the food store. <laughs> like I <laughs> will buy probably different candies too. You'll get like the 100%. ones the ones with the fruit filling, yes. the little jams and jellies. The good stuff or brandy. You probably buy like sardines. I sure do. Siljotka. A hundred percent just got some last week. <laughs> I say pretty basic. When it comes to like Russian food, I'm more on the cautious side. You grew up more I actually buy Russian food. You actually eat like the, I actually do. I'm just slowly like dabbling, <laughs> dabbling in. I'll get like the good candy and stuff. But for candy, I just got, well, let me show the kolbaskis. For the kolbaskis, I get, I don't know if this is, what's doktorskaya? I was trying to find it, but I couldn't find it. That is the, the one it's that the black. kids like. Yes, that's like that. Alex's meat. But doktorskaya, Oh, is it? I think so. I don't really know Russian food that well. <laughs> I don't look, I just... But this one's really good. My kids eat it. Do your kids eat this one? It's kind of like high, higher in fat yeah, content. Kids love but it's pretty one. good. But the bologna is good. Maybe that's what doctor's favorite. And then I couldn't find kasalinka, but I want to try this salami. Do you think this one's oh, I good? love kasalinka. Kasalinka is so good because it's like this really hard smile. But this one's a little squishier. Let me see. Softer. It's a little softer, so it's probably... We're going to try it today. Got some homemade sourdough bread. They do make their own breads. Did you ever try their breads? Oh, I love their breads. Mm -hmm. So white sourdough bread. Pretty good. It's like literally water, salt, their... sourdough, and flour. Oh, and it says, I am the bread of life, John 6, 48. But my favorite thing is um, these cheesecake bars. What do you call them? Oh, yes. yes, yes, yes. I, I like spots like somewhere. Yes. Time People eat to... them thawed. Mm. I like them frozen, but when you thaw them, they're super duper soft like a cheesecake dessert essentially. There's poppy Delicious. seeds, so good. They have a coconut. Best thing ever. Literally the best thing ever. I want, we should These try this one. These are my favorite. I've never tried I that actually one. I like this brand the best. There's strawberry, mm. chocolate. Aviana got some caramel ones. These are good. One with the raspberry are good. They're the best. We're gonna try this one. I'm gonna leave it out at room mm -hmm. temperature. She was trying to convince me to buy, she wasn't convincing me, but she was saying there's ones that you can buy in a box and they're like long. And she says, everybody that I've recommended it to loved it. So next time that you're here, I'm like, yeah, next time that I'm here. <laughs> we can hear like once a year. <laughs> so we got some praniki. I couldn't remember the name of these. My mom's taste better. My mom's. <laughs> Our mom's. <laughs> she makes the best praniki, but they're just so time consuming to make. So some tea. I got Earl Grey tea to make. Oh, it's my brother. He wants to be in my video too. Yes, come on over and join. Say hello. Doing a little mini 
my YouTube channel. <laughs> I think this is the first time I filmed in public. <laughs> I've had a channel for like five years. <laughs> Come on this side. Oh, you're doing YouTube channel? Oh, I'm doing like a mini Eastern European oh. tour. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't think I've ever included any family member in my channel ever. We've done it once. We did not. Yes, we did. You were like in the corner hiding because you didn't want to be in it. We were doing lashes. Is there any European store bigger than Prostor here? Because they had maybe three salads. They had shuba, a haroshek, and like two other ones. So different stores have different things, maybe. But like, actually, like, in bigger. Philly, they had like carrot salads, like you know, yeah, shredded they, carrot salad. They don't have that. I like that stuff. Yeah, they have it. Like, it's like in the corner. You have to like walk in here, and it's yeah. like this cool. Okay, I didn't go there because I saw like yeah. silk and stuff, so I just stayed away. Mm. That's probably where you were. Stay. All right, what else you got there? I plan to make London fog with this, but. This is not Tsar Nikolai. Tsar Nikolai is probably the most famous one. I don't know if you can find this at the regular stream, but it's just a good Earl Grey tea. And this, I'm gonna try with my sister today. She showed <laughs> this to me. <laughs> she waited for my expression on my face. She texted me and she said, come to my brother's house, I'm going there. And I said, oh, I don't know. She's like, bring your coffee. And I said, I'm not bringing my coffee. And I said, I brought coffee. <laughs> Tell me that it looks said smooth and round instant. It makes it look so good. Actually, Vadim really likes instant coffee, so he, he will really like this. We're gonna try it together, okay? You never judge a book by its cover. Right. It's so good it, when it, you it, actually whip up the milk with the... I don't think he has a handheld frother. We'll try it. We'll, we'll figure something out. My daughter really wanted these, but they're not as good as homemade. Mom's food always tastes best. These are like... Um, the filling is not as runny as hers. It's more like yeah. drier. But the actual cookie is pretty good. You just try it. It's not... It's not as good as mom's, but it's pretty good. But the mom's is always it. the best. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the difference between these were, and there were some lighter ones. I think these are maybe chocolate here. I love the brunch cake. Me too. I was gonna say you probably wouldn't buy them. <laughs> no, I do buy them. Oh, not as much as I do. Do you remember these candies they had at the Russian store one time? They were like this long in the shape of a cone with a foil gold wrap. Yes. And you had to peel it. Yes. They don't have yes, them anymore. Yes, do you yes. remember that? They yeah. were so good. I remember that thing Dieb Kossi used to always yes. have them. Yes. Oh, I never liked them though. No, mm -hmm. I did. I don't know. I'd probably just like unwrapping <laughs> them. <laughs> Bielachki. Oh, these are good. These are good. I think these are Bielachki. Some Vanidian, which is like powdered vanilla packets. My mom used to always bake these. I smelled it and I thought of her instantly, so I decided to buy some. You're going to be baking something? I actually called mom and asked her for her recipe for um, Risa Vayakasha. Oh, she puts that in there. Yeah, yeah, I think that's everything I got. And I paid this, okay. $70. It was like a few dollars short of $100. I could like carry all the packets in one hand. Wow. The Russian store has always been expensive it's, though. Mm -hmm. Like when you go there, the kolbasa, and then these guys are gonna run you. Every every bar is like a dollar or something. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's try this coffee. We're gonna <laughs> try it. Give it a good sniff. <laughs> Are you pleasantly surprised? <laughs> yeah, because you know what instant coffee smell. It might go on you. Mm, no, I still have yeah. the instant coffee smell, but that first whiff was pretty good. It's better than most, I would say. I, well, yeah, like it's interesting though, because it's very, very fine. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever... Yeah. It's not like a... It has like a caramel smell to it. Do you like your strong? I do. Preparation, one to two teaspoons. I'm going to do two. Okay. So interesting. One, two. I know people do whipped coffee. This would be really good for whipped coffee. Did you ever try that before? It's like a Tic Tac trend where they take this I've, with sugar yes. and they whip it. Yes. And then you put it over ice, but you don't really eat, drink ice drinks. Okay, let's add some hot water. We're gonna Here like it. it comes. All right. <laughs> oh, do you know how I do it? Oh, it's not weird. I do it with milk. You stick oh latte. I yeah, yes, you don't drink coffee, you do only latte. I mean technically it. same. I don't really Yeah. It looks promising. I can't actually yes, I can show on it like this. It has a little a little bit of crema. Okay. You do vanilla as well, but mm -hmm. we're gonna forego the fancy syrups. And I'm gonna mix milk and I know Serge does not have. Oh he didn't even open it. He doesn't he doesn't drink coffee. <laughs> and we're gonna mix heavy whipping cream with milk because it gives it a thicker consistency. Kind of like half and half. So if you ever run with a half and half and for whatever reason you have heavy whipping cream in your fridge, you're just gonna do heavy cream? You're not gonna no, do I'm milk? No, I'm gonna do some milk too. This way it's like very similar to half and half. You like it. I am gonna have coffee instead of latte. What is this girl doing to me? I know. Well, listen, this is the next mm. best thing. 
at Sergi's house. We'll let you know. <laughs> this is as good as it gets. It could be no coffee. Okay, I want to sip this at the same time just to get your initial reaction. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself yet. Hold on. I'm not even going to lick the spoon. <laughs> Cause I want like a real time. Okay. Oh god, I can't believe I'm drinking instant coffee. What is life? Okay, ready? <laughs> She's drinking. Okay, hold on. It's not bad. <laughs> not bad in her language. It's very interesting. Which also in her language means she doesn't like it. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, really, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's really not that bad. <laughs> you know that audio? You ever heard it? To this all. It's okay. What if we add more coffee? Like it's that? not creamy enough for me, but the coffee taste is actually not that bad. It's not as bad as the usual and stuff. I think Redeem's gonna like this. I'm gonna try it with one of these days. Is it better? <laughs> it's so <messy. laughs> you it. Really? We had some. Is it izhushonka or zhushonka? Zhushonka. Mm -hmm. If we had some of that, some condensed milk. No, it's bitter. But you like your shots, your espresso shots. I like it strong, so this is a good color. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't, you know, purposefully reach I for it. I had worse actual yes. coffee. Coffee, than that's this. true. I have too. So this is actually yeah. not bad for instant coffee. Um, that's true. It has good coffee taste to it. It's like it is bitter now. I see it. Mm -hmm. Right. It like sticks on your tongue. You can like taste mm -hmm. it in the back. It's not bad. bad. It's not bad. I would still make latte with it instead. Though. Ooh, we should try that. Yeah, that would be. Better. I'll buy you one just for your house. <laughs> I'll do like a little care package for you. Mm. Cheers. Not that bad. At least we have some coffee, right? My sister wants to go pick up some pizza for the kids. While she's out, I'm gonna cut up the salami. We're gonna try it together. I'm gonna wait for her to try it. Ooh. Mm. This one looks like it's gonna be pretty good. The European store has so many good cured meats. If you ever need like a quick lunch sandwich idea, hop onto the European food store, pick up some goodies, and you're good to go. Like it's nice to have some things on hand. And this one looks like it's gonna be a little bit spicy. It has paprika in it, I didn't realize. But it still looks like it's gonna be good. My sister went home. She has to get her kids bed to bed for church tomorrow and stuff. But I kept this out at room temperature. I was gonna try it with my sister. By the way, the kolbasa, I don't know what the technical term is in English. It was pretty good. This one was a little bit more oily, greasy, but it's still not kasilimka. Like if you're Slavic and you know kasilimka, it's like this really tough salami. I don't know, the flavor's just so good and I can't find it. I'm sure if I asked the lady in the store, she probably would be able to tell me, but maybe I'll do that next time. I'm gonna try this. I don't never tried a coconut one, but these are like my favorite thing to get there. I usually like to eat them frozen, like a frozen cheesecake treat, and they're the best things ever. Mmm. Tastes so heavenly. This is what's gonna rack up your bill at the European food store. I think they taste even better when they're nice and soft. So creamy. Maybe it's because I love cheesecake, but this is like a really sweet cheesecake dessert. I think I'm gonna finish the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Me and my sister, maybe I'll do more videos with her. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with us, and I hope to see you guys in future videos.